This is hip hop album debate. Let's get the conversation going. Ain't no time to waste. Yeah, the podcast that I know you've been wanting. They talking real hip hop. Got everybody talking. Let's go. Yeah, keep it 100 and stay true. Hosted by my homie Q. Tune in and come through. Yeah, this be the spot. The number one place all day. This is hip hop album debate. Let's go. Hey, yeah. Welcome to Hip Hop Album Debate, the podcast. It's your boy Q. Hey, what's going on, family? Uh, so this is episode eighteen, and uh, episode eighteen is basically about uh, homage. Homage. We're gonna pay homage to the late great uh, Notorious B.I.G. Uh, March the ninth uh, makes twenty five years since uh, Biggie was taken away from us untimely. So. Uh, I think I'll show some love, man, pay some homage to uh, the Notorious B.I.G. by giving or naming, I should say, my top 10 Notorious B.I.G. songs, all right? So, it's not in order. It's not in numerical order. It's just I'm naming my 10. And um, So, anyways, we're going we gonna to get it popping, right? We're going to get it popping with Big Papa. How about that? Uh, love the, the Isley Brothers sample that um. Um, of course, the lyrics. You know, Biggie talking with it. You know, talking that 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 player stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, I like the sample. Of course, the Isley Brothers sample, but he also sampled his own voice. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, an artist su- uh, called Supercat, and um, Biggie and Puffy did a feature, and um, so Biggie actually uh said that in in that song right there. Um. I love him when you call me Big Pop, but the show stop, but the rhyme drop, but so yeah, if y'all guys remember, man, or if you don't go back and listen to Super Cat, darling, my baby, go back and listen to that. Uh, number two, the Junior Mafia get money. Uh, that was a just a good classic jam. Uh, Biggie had uh, just released uh, his first album, Ready to Die. And now he's doing the Junior Mafia thing. And, um, man, dude just killed ascending, man. I mean, you know, okay, he did his thing on a solo tilt, but now he presenting Junior Mafia. And, um, man, he just kept it going, man. Um, me and my bitch is one of my favorites. Good storytelling. Um, man, that could have been a movie. You know what I'm saying? Just good storytelling. Um, you know, him being a street dude, attracted to a street female, and um, you know, they they did what they did in the streets, and um, you know, it was it was a tragic ending. You know, she uh she ended up taking the L for him, and um, the Taurus Thugs classic uh feature between them with uh Biggie and Bone. Uh, like I've said in the previous podcast, if you look at that um song, it, it doesn't even supposed to fit on paper. You know, Biggie and uh and Bone, you know, just two different styles. Uh but it meshed, like it worked so good, man. So I take my hat off to uh Biggie and um Bone and you know, and and, and I would like to believe Puffy probably had a uh a take in that too. Uh having him to think outside the box. So that's that's one of my favorites. Uh that's in my top ten. Uh I love the dough with Jay Z. And Angela Wimbush, which is on the Life After Death album. Great song, great feature. Uh, it samples uh, Renee and Angela, which uh, the group Angela was a, was a part of. A uh, guy that she was, I can't remember if they were married or not, but they were dating. Uh, Renee. Renee and Angela. Uh, they sampled Renee and Angela's uh, I Love You More. Anyway, great sample. Great original song. Great song with Biggie and Jay Z. Uh you can kinda hear them two going back at it, you know, in a friendly way, but uh great song. Um Players Anthem. I remember that song when it came out the summer ninety five, man. Oh, it, it might have came out before um the summer. But anyway, man, it was a great jam, man. They played it on the radio like Oh man, religiously, man. And if you didn't like the song, you was gonna like it anyway. Um uh, that and uh the Loonies, I got five on it. The summer ninety five, I never forget it. Those two songs was in uh heavy rotation. They were in heavy rotation um 
in my hometown, which is uh, Sylacauga, right outside of Birmingham, Alabama. So those songs was uh, was in heavy rotation. But the players' anthem, again, is Junior Mafia, Biggie doing his thing, Lil C's, Kim, just, again, a big, Biggie's just ascending around this time, right? Uh, number se- uh, again, number seven, not in numeric order now. Number seven, what's beef? Biggie letting you know, man, hey, if it's not an I see you, when I see you, we don't got no problems. So, uh, of course, he, he uh, I guess you could say that might have been a shot at Pac. Maybe, maybe not. You know, I'll let you guys uh, say that. But um, anyway, dope song, right? Number eight, I got a story to tell. Again, uh, great storytelling, right? I got a story to tell. Great storytelling. Um, Again, this was on the Life After Death album, the double album. Uh, man, just just again, man, he, he he he's giving you this tale, you know, him getting jammed up, sleeping with a chick, uh, allegedly uh, a female of the New York Knicks. You know, we all thought it was John Starks, at least I did. But um, I I read somewhere I can't remember. So allegedly, it was Anthony Mason. May God rest his soul. But anyways, man, good storytelling, man. It was the beat was dope. It was comical. Again, Biggie just doing what he does best, man. Uh, just straight dope bars. All right, so that's uh number eight, number nine. Fucking you tonight with R. Kelly, and uh, just again, man. You know this is for chaos. You know got jammed up. You know at this time. I mean, he he was the Pied Piper or R and B, uh, and nobody could take that away from him. Um, great song, great collaboration. Um, again, this is probably one of those songs that didn't really look good on paper, at least not in my opinion. Uh, you know, Notorious B.I.G. and R. Kelly collaboration. Like, if you were to just look at it, uh, I don't think that would work, but it did. So kudos to Kells, kudos to Big. You know, again, Puffy, uh, I'm sure Puffy, you know, was probably behind the whole idea of that song. Um, last but not least, the world is filled with pimps and hoes. So we'll just talk about the ones I know. Again, uh, great feature from Puffy, man. Too short. Again, another one of those songs that do- doesn't look good on paper, but it worked. And, um... I just thought it was a banger, man, uh, featuring Carl Thomas on the hook. Um, again, a good verse from Big, Too Short, um, Puffy, and um, Carl Thomas, he killed the hook, man. So, uh, so yeah. So, that's my top 10, man. Big Papa, Get Money, Me and My Bitch, Notorious Thugs, I Love the Dough, Players Anthem, What's Beef? I got a story to tell. Fucking you tonight. And the world is filled. That's my top 10 biggest songs. Give me your top 10. Holla at your boy Q. Let me know something in the comment section. Um, What's your favorite big songs? Your top 10. Top 15. Top 20. Doesn't matter. I got time. Let's chop it up. Holla at your boy Q. I'm gone. Peace. Hey.